It's a busy week, but there's more games on the Atari VCS store, so let's dive in. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here for Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich and Fun for Five. Yes, that's right. That's right. We're getting back into that Atari VCS store, and boom, what do you know? We just about catch up to all of the new games that were in the list before we hit the games we had already fun for five to pop goes another one. This one is a little bit of a different kind of fun for five because I don't think there's ever been, if I'm not mistaken, maybe only once, maybe, maybe once, a game that was released already on the VCS. We did a fun for five on it, and now there is a, like a newer, slightly updated version, shall we say of a game so let's just check it out this one is tilting tiles ultimate tilt remix from treefall studios llc we have done a fun for five on tilting tiles just tilting tiles um that did that did happen it is on the channel you can go ahead and look um <clears throat> there's a lot of videos on this channel also as i'm getting through a little uh little housekeeping here and i'm thinking I don't know. Maybe it's time to like reorganize. Maybe it's time to maybe have a, a secondary thing where you can like easily get through all of the content. If you want to get like Atari VCS stuff or Intellivision stuff or Polymega stuff or Evercade stuff or whatever, maybe there needs to be a different like things. The the YouTube channel is it's cumbersome to try to like you know figure out like oh hey he, here you can go you get all these videos. We're rapidly approaching a thousand, my friends. One thousand videos. That's a lot to call through, so I'm, I'm keeping I'm keeping some ideas in the in the mix. You can comment below and see what you might want to see. Anyway, speaking of all those videos, like the Tilting Tiles, Fun for Vibe, which you can go and watch, let's kick off this one by saying Tilting Tiles Ultimate T Tilt Remix is a spin-off remixed edition of Tilting Tiles. Like the original game, Tilt Remix is a movement-based puzzle game each level is carefully crafted is a is a carefully crafted challenge and your goal is to find the most efficient route through each level ready to for everyone compatible with just this modern controller right here 499 at launch on friday which is what i paid for it we're about to hit the launch button and check out some tilting tiles ultimate tilt remix on the atari vcs let's go And there it is. Tilting Tiles Ultimate Tilt Remix. We're going to hit some A buttons. We've got a How to Play. We've got an Options menu. Player Speed Normal. English. What's Normal? Fast Normal. I guess we're just going to do Normal. How to Play. Minimalist puzzle, single, single, double move, diagonal move. Oh, you can do move diagonally? That's kind of cool. I didn't realize you could do that. And you can use LB and RB to tilt left or right. And uh, it's un the ability to tilt is unlocked at stage one. That's kind of neat. Very cool. Not understanding, like, oh, I gotcha. A little of that action. Uh, can we? So let's see. One, tilt. Two, tilt. See, that's weird. I'm supposed to get them all, I guess. But how are we supposed to move and get them? Hmm. 
but we can't get that last one. Maybe it's the X. Maybe we need to. Maybe we need to create the X. So this is that. Oh, maybe that was it. And then now I can't. I can't go. Hmm. This is interesting. Level one just coming at your throat already. <clears throat> All right. So what if there's the X? There we go. And then the over, right? But we can't. Oh, come on. That takes a move, too. I don't get it. This is that. I mean, we have to tilt. There's, there's no question. We got to do that. Uh, right? And then this. Oh, I get it now. But how do we do... Oh no. Huh. All right. This is kind of tough. I'm not going to lie. What if it's this way? All right, and then this way. It's supposed to I don't like it. That that's I don't know exactly what we're supposed to do here. Like that, okay, that's fine. Do the lean. Do that, okay. But then it's then you can't lean. You can't do the thing. I mean I'm sure some of you are screaming at me like, oh yeah, all you gotta do is this. That's silly, Rich. Don't what are you doing? Um Then eight nine and you can't move. You can't do the thing. I just did this over again. Man, we can't even beat the first level. <laughs> That's not great. I I I just don't. All right, and then you move this one like that, right? Oh, what if we did this? That. We got it. This is tough. They come at your throat right away. I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> but they do. Like that's it's severe. All right, so we got a tilt here. Can we go this way? Yeah, we can do it. We can do that. Um, is there no? Is there no way to do this? I, it doesn't let me do the... It doesn't let me do the thing. I think the controls are a little wonky, maybe. X. I can do another one of those. Okay. So, that's that. Right? I mean, if we do that, we're going to fall in. I wonder if we can get... No, we can't get there in time. I wonder if we're supposed to just do this. 
tilt x over that way. Use the double this way. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I mean, yeah, it's probably that, but we didn't get the lean, so. I almost want to say that there's, you know, like, there's got to be more than one answer or something, you know? <clears throat> I wish that in this remixed version there was, like, the ramp. We'll get to it when we get to the wrap-up, but I think you guys know where I'm going with this. I wonder if it's this. Is it this? And then this? you can't go over and it's not enough to get the tile. It's not enough to get the little thingy. This one's rough, my friends. I mean, it's not a lot of spaces. I mean, if, if there were people that said to the dev, like, hey, what you got is too easy, like, they're, they needed to not do that. Because I, I have no idea. <clears throat> You're out of moves. You're out of moves this way. You can't do that. You can't go across. And again, I mean, I'm sure you guys are screaming at me, but this is tough. This is tough. All right, let's go to the wrap up. See what we see. All right, guys, we got our scores. We got our scores. We got the Certified Good Times, a game that is so good, <clears throat> you need to run out and buy it. All that kind of stuff. We got, yes, the fun was found. Yes, indeed. This is a good game. You know, it's totally in the mix, so all that kind of stuff. You got the yeah, but. Yeah, we found some fun. But there was something that was holding it back. You know, whatever. Whatever, whatever it needs to be. And, of course, you get the dreaded not great, which is really only reserved for, like, practically unplayable games, right? Not necessarily difficult games, but just on... I mean, it's broken, right? You just There is no way to play. Where are we at on this one? Where are we at on Tilting Tiles Ultimate Tile Remix? We're in the yeah, but. Yeah, we're in the yeah, but territory. Um, and the reason we landed in yeah, but is because I'm on level two. We spent over 10 minutes rocking this game. And um, I can't beat level two. I... I mean, so we've we've let's go with the pluses. The pluses are <clears throat> it's a puzzle game. I love puzzle games. It's priced right at $4.99. It's five bucks. It's just it's worth a throw. It's worth a throw if you're a puzzle game fan. And yes, if you are one of the people screaming at the screen, Rich, you just you missed it. This is what you're supposed to do. You could be you could have easily beaten five more levels. What are you doing? That's fine. That's all good. But it wasn't me right now. And yes, it's a remix, but something in me says, all right, well, if you're going to remix it, still provide the ramp for new players so that you don't get scared off of your game immediately. So casual puzzle game fans that don't necessarily know the mechanics of the game might get a little intimidated at the fact that you have to brute force your way to get at a level one using the all of the button combinations. I don't believe in that in this sense. And I, I'm not I'm not game dev, you know, I don't know, whatever, right? I don't believe in this sense that at the first level, 
you should inherently know how to already play the game. Like as if you've already owned tilting tiles. If that was the purpose of the game, and this is like, hey, this is the this is the remixed version of this game. It's super hard. It's for those things. Put that in the description of the game. You know, they, and it's like right up front. I don't, I didn't see any of that stuff in the description on my own. Um, just reading it, it just said this was a remixed version of, you know, the the uh, the you know the game um, puzzling, you know, like, uh, tilting tiles. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, each level is a carefully crafted challenge, and your goal is to find the most efficient route through the level. Okay, well, that's it's kind of like it's kind of implying it's like the same thing. Um, and a spin, spin off remixed edition of Tilting Tiles. Okay, that's fine too. But it's, I, I, I hesitate to use the word brutal, but it's like it is kind of brutally difficult right up front. And it's like, hmm. But that's me. That's when I when I'm reviewing any game, I'm looking for give us the ramp, give us two, three, four stages, let us know what's going on. Then you you can start cranking up the heat. You know, oh, this one you need to use this one button. This one you need to use this special move. This one you need to use X Y Z, whatever. And that's fine. I'm cool with that. But even in a remix, even in a thing, you know, that to bring some people back. If you haven't played it in a while, whatever, it's okay to have a couple cheese stages, right? Kind of ease them in, you know, like let it let it rock and roll. You know, it, it's it's okay to have the more limited challenge up front, and then you get the you get the 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 pedal to the metal uh, afterwards. I and that's just my opinion. You know, it's, that's why you're watching Good Times with Red to Red, right? Uh, to get the opinion. Not that I think this is a bad game in any stretch of the imagination. Um, I love puzzle games. I will likely go back and try these games. Now, what I will do to try these different stages and try to get through level two. What I will do, though, first, because I own Tilting Tiles, is I'm going back to Tilting Tiles and I'm playing more of that to get myself in the mindset, to get myself through all those stages and that kind of thing. Now, I can't ask you dear viewer that is watching this that has never played tilting tiles before to then just go in, into ultimate tilt remix and just you know get handed um nor would i ask you oh well well if you knew it, you're gonna really like this one but first you gotta go back and buy the other one i mean what i will recommend is you know what go and watch my fun for five on tilting tiles and i'm pretty sure i had a good time pretty sure i gave that one a uh, fun was found and then you can play that one if you want and then if you're really interested, yes, come back and do this one. But what I recommend off the beat, go get Ultimate Tilt Remix. Maybe not. Maybe get Tilting Tiles first. You know, and then and then come back for this one. Um is how is where I'm winding up on that one. So, but what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Let me know in the comments. See how everything's going. Um, you know how we like it here um at uh, Bacon Ice Cream Productions. We love talking to you guys in the chat. We love kicking up conversations and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, that's it. It's how, it's how we do it. Um, of course, though, we also love, um, because it's the end of a video here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions, you know what we also love? We 100% love the fact that there is a whole bunch of people that are really awesome and do cool things like join the Good Times Club. And they provide us with all sorts of cool stuff. Um, they provide us with 1080p StreamYard, uh, provide us with support. You get some cool videos. Um, you get, um, you know, like you, you would get all sorts of cool stuff and they help provide that all to you guys, which is cool. Um, plus they get cool things in return, like those ex exclusive stuff that I mentioned, uh, exclusive videos, emojis, all that kind of stuff. So we thank them at the end of every video. And what we do is we actually just read them their names. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's thank the Ever Canadian, Crimson Cross, George Games, Chris Westerman, Phantom Fiction, Skeletrex, Lodar Jim, Papa Pete, the Intellivision Gamer, Ken LeCure, Mr. Shua, John Woolley, Gunsy20, Immortal Surgeon, Tales from the Jungle and Waste, Evercade Fanboy, <clears throat> Back from the Dead One, and Herb Wars. Thank you guys all so much for being members of the Good Times Club, for hanging out, for doing all that kind of stuff, and just for being cool. We thank you guys all so much for that support. If you guys are not members, you can hit the join button and you could do all that. That'd be kind of cool. Um, if not, leave a like, leave a dislike, leave some comments, 
And be sure to hit that subscribe button, too, so you can get some more of this awesome show. Okay, cool. Speaking of awesome shows, very soon, maybe tomorrow, maybe not, depending upon how this crazy week of mine is going, there's this. We got a package, and we must open it. We're going to open it in Studio B because we got to turn on Studio B. We actually took apart Studio B for a little bit. We're going to put it all back together, and we're going to test some stuff with a box opening. And you know what those packages mean. Yes, that's right. It's from across the pond. So tune in. Those Evercade fans in there watching me, tune in soon to that box opening. I'm sure it's going to be a cool treat. So until next time, we will catch you next time. For some good times, I'm Rich. And we will see you later. Take it easy, guys. Take it, ice cream, dot com.